Hey guys, this is Josh with the Lead Farmers Tactical, and this is kind of our intro video. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background information on me and on Lead Farmers Tactical as a whole, and kind of let you know what we're about, what we're doing, and where I'm coming from, so you don't think I'm some just dumb yahoo on the other side of the camera. A um, little bit about me to begin with. I'm originally from South Mississippi. Uh, I grew up in the backwoods, if you will, with a bunch of real country guys. So I grew up learning the outdoors and learning guns and from a very southern, you know, good old boy point of view. So I learned a lot from them about improvising, determination, values, goals, stuff like that. Um, I grew up and joined the Boy Scouts when I was younger. I'm um, actually an Eagle Scout. Learned a lot there, actually, from uh, you know the training that we went through, the merit badges, all that kind of stuff. I know a lot of you guys will kind of push on that, but the Boy Scouts were actually a really good influence on me growing up. And I learned a lot about the outdoors and about how to do with what I have, how to prepare for what's going to happen, all kind of stuff there. Um, as I got a little bit older, I moved out of South Mississippi. We went to Oklahoma, where I'm now, and you know, kind of went more from the country side of things to a little bit more of a city environment. Uh, learned a little bit more about better gear, stuff that's not as improvised, and a little bit more of the urban terrain. You know, kind of got integrated in that, and later on in life went on, joined the military. I'm actually a four-year infantry uh, combat veteran. I did two, ter uh, two different deployments, one of which was to Iraq, and uh, so I got a lot of military experience. And obviously, if any of you guys are ex-military, you know once you're out, military still kind of dictates your life, uh, especially combat experiences. Uh, you kind of judge things about military point of view. So I feel like I've got a really well-rounded uh, scope. All right, so I got out of the military in 2005, and ever since, I'm still very much a gun guy, outdoors, uh, prepper, although I don't really like the term because it conjures up the doomsday prepper types, the real whack jobs that think the world's going to end tomorrow and zombies and all that kind of craziness. But I do prepare for eventualities, and I do try and maintain my training and my perspective on the world and what's going around me. Uh, I still love to shoot. I'm a big, uh, big shooter when it comes to outdoor stuff. Um, I train tactically. I train sporting, although I'm not much of a like competition shooter. And I shoot just for the fun of it. I do some precision shooting. I like to just go plank with my AR and uh, pistol shooting, defensive shooting. So. I do train some in shooting. Uh, I've got some guys I train. Um, I do some rudimentary gunsmithing. I would say I'm probably in the intermediate scale. I can do stuff beyond just slapping parts together. But, you know, I'm not an expert gunsmith by any stretch of the imagination. We do have a few of those that we can actually call on for uh, some expert advice here at Lead Farmers Tactical. Uh, beyond that, I, I love to kayak. I'm very much into camping, backpacking, hammock camping, one of my favorite things to go do. Uh, horseback riding, I, this channel is going to be drawn off of all that experience. Um, I'm also paddy certified as a scuba diver, just to let you guys know. So I do have quite a bit of experience in my background. Um, like I said, at no point during any of our videos am I going to claim that I am the end-all, be-all expert. I know that there's guys out there who do that, and that's not what we're about here. I'm not going to show you some fancy new super duper, you know, Ranger Seal bullshit. That's not what I'm trying to do. I want to show you guys some workable, good, and useful information. Um, as far as Lead Farmers Tactical, I put this together with. Um, friend of mine a couple of years ago and we were really fleshing out the concept since then 
life has kind of dictated that he needs to go home, take care of his family, and he's doing other things. He will be making appearances with Life Farmers Tactical uh, later on. At the moment, right now, it's me. We got a few other guys, um, but primarily I will be doing these videos for you. Uh, just to let you know, what we're looking to do is just share our experience. We want to give you guys good um, how to advice, some good DIY stuff, how to kind of like get around and do things without spending buttloads of money. Uh, we're going to be sharing some tactical training, although some of our training will be geared more towards competitive, defensive, and just for fun shooters. Um, we're going to be going over a lot of gear, and we're not going to be reviewing the thousands of dollars of gear that a lot of the sites do. That's one of my biggest pet peeves uh, when we were first talking about this is a lot of guys will start talking about and reviewing these guns that nobody in the working middle class can reasonably afford. Um, $10,000, $20,000 guns, uh, gear, and they call it affordable and it costs you $1,000 for something that you can get comparable items for under 500 easily uh, guys that want to sell you on a bunch of parts and stuff that you don't need that you can reasonably do without um, and guys that are sponsored and funded by these manufacturers and they read off these glowing reviews and then if you do ever get to the point where you saved your hard earned money you find out that you didn't really buy anything extra you just bought you know what a bunch of people are endorsing so we don't want to do that we're not endorsed we're not sponsored i don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars so don't ask me for money go find somebody else um like i guess i work a, a medium wage job um i'm a per hour guy i'm, I'm the every guy um so 99 percent of all the gear you see here is something i bought myself or somebody else involved in the project has bought themselves. Um, a lot of it might be a little bit pricier than the bottom dollar stuff, but it's because we did research, we found what we wanted, maybe we compared it to some other things, if that's the case, we'll tell you. Uh, there's not gonna be any secrets here, we're gonna be completely open and honest, and I want you guys to know exactly what you're getting into. Um, so we're gonna be doing a couple of videos here in the next probably couple of days when this video comes out um, about two major things I felt like were a good indication of what we're doing here. Um, one of the videos is going to be about this. Um, it's This is the Velocity Systems lightweight plate carrier. Um, and this is to let you know how much I'm on the forums and I'm trying to tie in with the community and I'm doing the research that you guys are doing. Uh, the Velocity Systems Lightweight Plate Carrier is just really awesome as far as what everybody thinks about it. And it really, in most of the debates when people are considering this, they're considering this versus the Mayflower APC. Um, and the biggest complaint I keep seeing over and over again, I've never seen anybody fix online. I mean, I'm sure guys have fixed this before and they have a, a solution to it. Which most guys, if you are ex-military or you have a lot of adaptive training, this is not a hard fix. But one of the biggest complaints I've heard is that this system doesn't have a hydration carrier. Um, so what we've done is I've gone ahead and I've fixed that. And I've made sure I can do it all with off-the-shelf parts that you guys can buy. And it doesn't make it that much more expensive than the Mayflower plate carrier. It actually came in cheaper. Um, so if you're looking for a good low-profile rig... I'm going to show you in one of the upcoming videos how to go ahead and adapt this so that you do have a hydration carrier on your Velocity System LP, LWPC. Um, also, we're going to do some quick, short, and to the point uh, first impressions of this whole plate carrier, as, long, as well as the um, Haley Strategic D3CR and the integration with it. Um, I'll get you a full review a little bit later. We're still doing some post-production testing, working up some logos, and also dealing with some equipment issues. Um, 
trying to get everything really launched off the ground. And once we get all that squared away, we're going to try and do um, like a regular schedule of these videos with you know intro credits and all the flashy fun stuff. So this is one of the videos that we're going to be doing. I'm going to set that right down there. The other video that we're going to be doing involves the AR-15, which is a very popular platform for most of you guys, especially the budget guys, because you can build these for really inexpensive uh, comparatively for a rifle of this type you know something with a quick loading magazine that's accurate that is capable in the defensive position and is easy to manipulate uh, this is a very iconic gun and I know a lot of you guys are probably interested plus they're really easy to build because you can buy them parts at a time guys are on budget they love to a lot of guys aren't really good with just saving and getting to that six, seven, eight hundred dollar mark to buy all the parts and put the rifle together. So they buy it a couple of parts at a time. They budget that out. Um, I'm kind of that way. I like to budget out, but I like to see some return on my investment as I'm budgeting out. So um, what we're gonna be doing for this rifle, I mean this exact rifle is one of them, and one of the videos that we're gonna be doing with those two intro videos that will be no post-production, no big lead in, all that. We're going to be doing three modifications you can do to this weapon system for under $10 each that actually do help with functionality or reliability or just your, your typical weapons handling. They're not just flashy parts to make it look pretty, they're actually functional parts for the gun. Um, we're going to be doing one that's just a drop-in part that you can buy off-shelf, stick it in, you're good to go, you don't have to do anything else. We're going to be doing one that is what I call no experience necessary. I mean, it's really hard to screw it up, and even if you do, what you're going to be doing, you can undo it and then put it back and keep trying until you get it right. It, it's, you know, a no-brainer. The other one is going to be something that I would call a moderate amount of experience necessary, um, which... You should know what you're doing a little bit, but it's not a brain buster either. If you are if you own one of these and you've worked on them, you can probably do it all by yourself with no problem. Um, and what I want you guys to notice here is that I'm trying to do things that I know I've seen on the forums, I've seen um, out there in the world with you guys in the community, and I know it will be helpful. And also I'm trying to scale. Um, we want to do things for absolute beginners, novices that have never touched this gear before, as well as um, guys that have a little bit of experience, guys that have a lot of experience. I want to bring something for everybody. Uh, on top of that, we're not just doing tactical equipment. I know we're Lead Farmers Tactical. I just thought it was a cool name. So what we're going to be doing is tactical equipment, guns, and you know, play carriers and all that stuff. But we're also going to be doing reviews and uh, how-tos, DIYs for your basic outdoors guy as far as camping, backpacking, hiking, uh, canoeing or kayaking if we get to it, maybe rock climbing, I mean just everything. We're going to be getting into prepping, um, tactical gear versus civilian stock gear, um, defensive shooting, defensive clothing, weaponry. Um, gear, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's obviously focused a lot around gear because that's what we can do, but we're also going to be doing DIY stuff that's you can just make it at home, do it yourself, or training in techniques and how to do things if you don't have certain pieces of gear, or you know, if you only have a limited amount of gear, as well as um, how to construct something on a budget that equals something of higher value or something you'd have to spend a lot of money for. So with that said, like I said, I, I really appreciate the support that we already have. I posted up the Facebook not too long ago. It's facebook.com forward slash lead farmers tactical, all one word. And we've gotten a lot of support uh, when this comes out. You guys, if you don't mind, go by and give us a like. Um, if you like the videos that you're seeing, subscribe. You know, All that's like the internet currency or some bullshit like that. Um, we're not going to be a heavily politically driven. I mean, we all have our political views, but that's up to you guys. This is America, land of the free. Make your own decisions. 
Uh, we're not going to be all business all the time, as you can tell. I like my sketch, and a lot of the other guys in here enjoy their little vices and stuff, so we're not trying to drive you to some type of military mindset. Um, uh, this is actually a military mindset, but you can ignore that for now. Um, we're going to have fun. We're going to do what we love, and hopefully we're doing what you love too. So, like I said, give us a like, subscribe, leave us some comments, let us know how we're doing or what you'd like to see. And you guys rock on. Remember, knowing is half the battle, the other half is violence.